What's going on everybody? Fearless Beats here and today we're going to take a look at how to get your 808s fat and just slapping like the pros do. Let's jump right into this. Alright guys, so I just dropped a new sample kit with the three 808s that are used in about 75% of like all trap beats ever. The big three. So right here, this is what we got. We got the spins, the Zay, and the plug. So if you don't already have these, or if you wanna grab them, I'm gonna leave a download in the link below this video, and you can go ahead and grab those for free. And then you got those three bad boys, and you're pretty much set to go. So let's take a look at how we can make these sound insanely good. So for this beat, I'm gonna use the spins 808. All right, so we got the spins down here, and I already have a pattern together, but let's just take a look at this pattern. So when I'm making my 808s fat, I wanna make sure there's room in there so that it's not boom, 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 boom. It's not hitting one after another all the time. So you can see at the beginning here, I have a long note. So nothing else is playing until it gets into these other notes. That gap right there lets it come in really fat when it hits, and then the, another, the extra notes that follow it afterwards are gonna hit just as hard too. So let's take a listen at what we got so far. All right, so another thing we need to note here is that all of my 808s are in key. So I have set out the scale that I'm using, which is an F minor. So you can see all these notes right here. I highlighted these and they're outside of where we're playing so that I know which notes that I can play and they're gonna be in my scale. So the first thing is make sure all your notes are in the right scale. Now, if you don't wanna set out all the notes, another thing a lot of the big producers do is they'll take all their notes and they'll raise it up one or two octaves. Because when you're playing at one or two octaves up higher, you can definitely hear if they're in the right zone or not. Because you get more of the tone from it and less of the bass. So you'll know right away if it's a right note or not. And then you can just shift it back down two octaves where it was before and you're good to go. The next thing I want to talk about is you need to make sure that the velocities are cranked all the way up. Okay, so you'll see that all my notes here, I have jacked up the velocity all the way. That is making sure that the note is hitting as hard as it possibly can. Now, the only spot where the velocities are going down is this little roll right here that I'm doing. That's the only time where I'm gonna make them less than a full 100%. And that's just because I'm giving it a little effect as it rolls up, it gets a little bit louder. All right, so now that we got that, let's move on to the next thing. All right. So when we're in the sampler or the simpler view here, let's make sure that we're only using one voice at a time. One, not two. One voice at a time. So it's not playing multiple 808s on top of each other. It's not gonna get distorted or feel weird. Make sure that's on one voice so that it's playing in mono. The next thing we can do here is we can play with this little gain knob because we want that 808 to hit as hard as possible. So what I like to do is kind of raise this up until it gives it just a little bit of drop off like right there right so it just drops off a little bit at the end that way it's playing super loud and fat all the way through but it still has a little drop off at the end so let's take a listen to how crazy it's going to sound now so insane right and from there we can actually turn it down because we don't need to crank it up any higher than that Perfect. So that's that's another really important step. The next thing that you're going to do, and these 808s might be fine because I picked the three big daddy ones, so you probably won't have to do this to these three 808s, but I'm still going to show it anyways in case you found an 808 from somebody else's kit. So if you go into your audio effects in Ableton here, you'll see a little tuner. Let's throw that on the 808 and see and make sure that our 808 is hitting in the right key. So we're pretty much playing F the whole time, so it should be telling us F. Let's see. Okay, so you can see that it's not directly on F. It sounds fine, but if we wanna get it even closer, what we can do here is we can go into our controls and we can see this transposition and detune. Basically, we're gonna play with this detune. And what you see here 
is it says about plus 11 or plus 12 above the F. So we're gonna go minus 11 or minus 12 on the D tune to get it even closer there. So let's go minus 12. So now it's getting pretty much right in the middle there and it's right on F. So that way we know it's for sure hitting in the right key and it sounds as perfect as it can be. So for your decay and release, I pretty much just leave it at the standard that it is when it drags it in. You could play around with this and maybe it'll sound a little better too, but I pretty much just leave it here. Ableton already knows what sounds good, so we leave it there. Okay, so if you want to get that glidey effect with your 808, what you're going to do is, again, you're going to go into controls here and you're going to change glide. It's usually on off. You can change it to glide. And from there, you can adjust your time settings and how long of a glide it is. I usually just leave it at 50 right there and you put your glides in and then from there, you can adjust it if it feels right. So I got a glide in here, right here. So basically what I did is I just extended this note about halfway into the next one and let's listen to what it sounds like now. So awesome, it glides in there really nice and really sexy. And if you think it takes too long to glide or it's too short of a glide, that is where you're gonna go in here into the time and you're gonna go up and down based on what you think feels right. Boom, and that wraps up how to make your 808s hit fat and crazy and out of control like the professionals. There isn't anything crazy that you need to do. You do not need to side chain your kick in 808. Some people like to do it, some people don't, but you absolutely don't have to if you don't want to. This is how I achieve that sound every single time. And like I said, guys, I got those three big daddy 808s for free, 100% royalty free in the link below so so go cop that bad boy right now subscribe to me if you haven't already we're dropping new tutorials like this every single week and i'm always putting out different free sample packs and different kinds of things like that like this video if you liked it and leave a comment below if you have any more questions about your 808s and i'm going to get back to you as soon as i possibly can thank you so much for watching this guys peace out Shit.